What's up guys, it's the only Ninja Warrior Avid as a Lizard Man here bringing you another episode of Combat for Dummies here on the Modern Ninja YouTube channel. This time we are going to be looking at our size and doing a combo that is pretty basic for anyone trying to get into tricking or XMA with size. And that is the rotation. Now the rotation is going to be in two parts, it's going to be the first half and the second half. Just like that. It's easier to do it all at once, it's kind of hard to do it one part of it at a time. But I'm going to do that regardless so I can teach it how you how to do it step by step. So the first part is going to be the most important, it's the rotation. Now the way you're going to want to hold this is, at least the way I was taught to hold this and the way I do it and the way that works for me, it is I put three fingers on the handle just like this now my first finger stays up to kind of guide it and my second thumb but my second thumb my other thumb my other finger stays in between the top nook if I was pointed at someone the top nook is whoop, this area right here and my thumb stays in between that so when I'm ready to spin it my wrist will rotate it and it's all about momentum so keep that in mind when you're doing this your momentum keeps it going so you're going to flip it with your momentum and let go and re-grab one more time you're going to let go let it rotate and once it hits your palm you're going to re-grab it just like this so that you're grabbing it like this just like this so step one just like this and all together, it will be your flip. So flip it out, flip it in, flip it out, flip it in, just like that. Now this, you need to get down in order to do the next part, which is going all the way through. Now, in order to do that, you have to make your hand flat. Uh, one, you have to have size whose uh, gap, whose, I guess, I don't know what to call this. I don't know what the actual name for this is. The gap is wider than your hands. Otherwise, this is not going to work. For you guys that have bigger hands, you need a bigger size. That's just letting you know ahead of time. And so, for you guys that have your size and have your gap, you're going to want to get that same motion you get when you're flipping it, but you're going to want to keep your hand flat as opposed to letting it hit the inside of your palm. You don't want it to do that, otherwise it will stop. So you keep your hand flat and let it go all the way through, just like that. And that's how you can do the rotation and the flip. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video and hope it helped a few of you out. I know there's a couple of you uh, doing my favorite weapon, or at least my t one of my top two favorite weapons, which is the size. The other one's bow staff, which I'm sure you guys know by now. But uh, for those of you practicing size, definitely let me know if you want to see anything else, if you want to have more help. I know there's not a ton of you, but because you're doing one of my favorite weapons, I, I have a special place in my heart for you guys. So with all that said, let me know down in the comments if you want to see another side video or, or give me a link to a type of trick that you want to learn that I can break down for you. With all that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. My name is DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.